welcome back students upon the request of many students posting me on insta as well as the comment section of youtube i have come up with few important concepts related to the interesting course what is the latest technology course related to the fundamentals of robotics it's a common elective subject for all the courses of engineering dear student the course is too lengthy you need to be worked out the important points and there are certain problems as well as certain derivations also but i have uh, less time as you have less time i have come up with few important questions where you are going to work out these questions and you are going to work out in bulletin points all the concepts the first unit is all about the basic history of the robotics the basic components of robo along with the neat sketch you are supposed to work out and classify robo you are supposed to work out as per this pattern how i have kept on the paper classify different types of robots according to the control systems as well as sometimes they may be asking you even related to the coordinate systems also dear students the links and joints and the difference a bit intro of robo is important for the short question and the what are the laws there are three laws of robots and certain history may be also asked in the short as well as long question in part of two and this is three role of robotics in engineering i mean the different applications and that actu actuators as well as the types and the pneumatic activators is said to be the one of the topmost question and the sensors and the internal and the external sensors and their difference and related to the position center related to the principle of encoder as well as potentiometer they're asking several number of times you need to be worked out different types of center sensors in depth to complete the unit one it's all about theory only dear students unit one later i've come up with the unit five you follow this procedure the units which you haven't started you work with unit one first later unit fights because it's all about the application there is no linkage between certain new units which have kept in certain order here the applications of robots in different uh, applications such as in assembly line as well as painting and industrial applications and related to welding also sometimes that is completely theory please do write very neatly in bulletin points so that you will be getting very good marks and if possible try to work out the drawings also related to this applications related to application you are going to get damn sure one question this time and the robotic layout cell along with the dash diagram and their applications advantages and it has disadvantages this is set with the 10th as well as the 11th question maybe the robo integration system and their benefits is set with the topmost question and assembly applications in the industry line you are supposed to work out with a neat sketch this is set to be the unit 5 i mean the 10th and 11th question dear students as you have less time later i have come up with the fourth unit it is also all about certain uh, uh, i mean the languages of the robo bit of theory here also like we'll see the commands of robos i mean this is a part of eighth and ninth question in your question paper basic requirements needed to for programming a robo and the flow versus task control different types and the robo programming language is set with a damn sure question you need to be worked out along with their commands lead through programming limitations and as well as their capabilities and method of robo programming robo programming is very important you learn few commands so that you can work out that commands only in tomorrow's examination students who feel the subject is a bit difficult for them you are supposed to work out unit 1 unit 5 as well as unit 4 for sure in order to pass dear students in order to score a mark it is a bit uh, different here coming to the second as well as third you should be very well perfect with some kinematics as well as dynamic analysis of the robots here then only you will be working out uh, the unit 2 as well as unit 4 unit 2 and unit 3 there will be certain matrices and there will be certain transformations there is certain trajectory motion related to the robo so the fourth, second unit question is all about four and five end effect hours and the different types of grippers related to the types of gripper they'll be asking you their differences such as mechanical versus pneumatic grippers and the direct and inverse kinematic types of serial robos and the homogeneous transformation related to rotation and translation they'll be asking you the problems as well as certain time they'll be asking you to work out the homogeneous transformation matrix and dh parameter significance and the different manipulators the concept of differential kinematics in robotics is also set to the topmost question if you are not clear and with the concept do not work out this at the end you'll be getting confusion so that you read one five and four and unit three is also a bit of uh, certain derivations and there's an uh, calculations will be here cubic trajectory their features and calculation if you want you can go with the theory sometimes theory may be also asked so that you could be able to work out to score a better mark manipulator for the jacobian matrix for a three degree 
of freedom of an articulated arm and the short notes on manipulated jacobian matrix is said with a short question flow control of the robot as a multitasking system explain the term as well as path versus trajectory planning is said with a short question or long question fifth order polynomial trajectory planning problems to be worked out and velocity and acceleration calculations of a link also to be worked out this is said to be the number uh, six and seven in the question paper these are said to be the very important and short questions and do not skip any part of the video and if you want to score better mark you can go even with this two as well as three if you have strong fundamentals in the course robotics do not skip any part that may be the short and long questions will be focused from the points wherever highlighted if you haven't subscribed your students please do subscribe to my channel and do not forget to share this content and my channel with your juniors so that it may help them and you people uh, please do work out very neatly as well as like this content and do not forget to subscribe and as i'm going to work out few important questions and job related plans as well as even uh, the interview tips will be given in the coming days to go. Hope you will be going to do well in the exam. Good luck and God bless you all dear students. As is the last exam, be patient in writing all three hours the examination to score a better percentage. Good luck and God bless you all dear students. This is Chandrasekhar Utkuri signing off.